Und damit hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück zu einer weiteren Folge von Life is Strange 2. In der letzten Folge sind wir Karen begegnet, unserer Mutter und ähm, beziehungsweise wir sind Daniel begegnet, endlich nach langer Zeit und da Better wurden wir dann rausgeworfen. Easier. Und Karen hat uns sozusagen Karen. aufgegabelt. Jetzt sind wir hier in diesem ja, billigen Motelzimmer und wissen nicht so recht, was wir tun sollen. I'm not going out. Und dürfen auch nicht mehr draußen, okay? Karen okay, und er wartet lieber auf Karen. Dann setzen wir uns einfach mal aufs Bett und warten auf sie. Oder wir legen uns hin. Let's just rest while I wait for her. If she comes back. Hey, sorry it took so long. The fucking store was packed. Junge, öffne dich doch mal ein bisschen. How you feeling? <sighs> Nothing broken? <clears throat> Alter boys don't fight fair? Yeah. I'm okay. Double cheese, no onion. Right? That'll do. Got you some gauze and uh, antibacteria stuff for your eye. Mm. Hey, don't wolf that down. Or at least take a breath. <sighs> like you care. Sean, I do. <sighs> Come on, Karen. Don't act all hurt. It's too late. Where were you when I broke my leg when I was 13? Not with me. When Daniel got a bad flu a couple years ago, he didn't sleep next to him every night. Where were you? Where were you? Fair enough. So let's talk, because we do have to get your brother out of a cult. I'm listening. This is a zikta. How did you two survive alone on the road for that long? We just got lucky and got some help along the way. Total strangers. We even had our own little family. Good. How did you go to Beaver Creek? You know, I don't have to answer your questions, right? You're right. So tell me what you want from me, Sean. Nothing, Karen. I mean, what do you want from me? A fucking hug? Hey, I just want you to know what I did and why. If you care. So, ask me anything. All right. Why did you bail on us? I wasn't meant to be a wife or a mother. I thought I was supposed to. I tried to pretend for many years. But I wasn't happy. And the urge to leave just became unbearable. I had no other choice. Are you serious? You chose this life. You fell in love. You made your own choices. Right? Making your own choices doesn't mean you can never fool yourself, Sean. After I had Daniel, you were about eight, and Esteban's garage was getting busy. There was so much going on around me, yet somehow I just... I felt that my own life was just slipping away. Felt like an empty shell. Sean, it was the hardest decision I ever made. I knew I might never see you all again, but I took that responsibility. Yes, the Frage, wusste der Vater? Did Dad know about all of this? I was honest with your father. We did family therapy. But it wasn't about him. It was me. He was heartbroken for months after you left. Years. I was too. I was in love with your father. He was the best person I ever met. But just not enough for you. 
Something was missing from the equation, yeah. I was. So what exactly are you doing in Nevada? You live around here? No. I'm uh, way out in Arizona. Sean, I told you. Your friend uh, Jacob wrote my P.O. box and said Daniel was in trouble. That's it. Arizona? Holy shit. It's just lizards and rocks. Yes, I found something there. New York didn't really do me good, so... Yeah, okay. Think I've heard enough. I didn't have a choice, Sean. We only have one life. And I didn't want mine to be spent in regrets. For years, I fooled myself. Thinking I'd find satisfaction into what society expected me to be, and that was my mistake. I hope someday you can understand that. But I never stopped caring about you. For what it's worth, I am sorry for hurting you and Daniel, and Esteban. Also ich kann sie absolut verstehen, aber ich kann absolut nicht verstehen, dass sie dann einfach so von den Kindern weggegangen ist. I know you are, Karen. It still doesn't change the way I feel. <coughs> of course not. I know I can't change the past, Sean. I don't think you would. I need some air. Sean, whatever you want to say to me, this is the time. Let's just get it all out in the open. See what happens. So, did you ever actually miss us? Or Dad? Of course, Sean. I do miss your father. He had such a big heart. He could brighten up a rainy day. That was like his superpower. But above all, I missed watching you grow up. See how you saw the world. I missed sharing these moments with you, Sean. We used to do so much stuff. Like when you taught me to ride because Dad sucked. Or when we went camping near Vancouver. Just me and you. You always loved night skies. I did stargaze a lot when I was in California. Trust me, the further south you go, the better it gets. So... What did you do when you left? Where did you go? I pursued some dreams and failed. Learned the lessons. I guess all this time I tried to find out what really matters to Which me. Which doesn't involve a husband and two kids. It does to a lot of people. And I totally respect that. Just not to me. I wasn't good at making plans, which is what most of modern life is about, right? School, job, marriage. Ask my mom and dad. They wanted me to follow their rules, their faith. Oh, I tried, but I wanted to find my own way, with no security blanket. Family, religion, social norms, it's just all about security, after all. But it all just looked like a sweet golden jail to me. I tried to escape that. Kann ich alles absolut nachvollziehen. 
<clears throat> yeah. Hope it was worth it. It was. For now, I've found my place in the world. With like-minded people. I'm at peace with my fuck-ups and my decisions. How do you make peace with bailing on your parents, your husband, and your kids? I know, that's hard to understand. But I think people should know who they are. And not fake it for anybody. I mean, I get you wanted to leave and stuff, okay? But why would you ghost us like that? Not even a fucking birthday card. I just... I thought if I vanished, you would all move on. But I wanted to contact you guys so many times. I almost did. But you wanted a clean break from us. I didn't want to be a part-time, pissed-off mother. Not fair to any of you. I left when Daniel was still very young, so he wouldn't remember me. Yeah. I wasn't that lucky. Oh, Sean. I know. Do you want to tell me how you felt then? Or now? I felt guilty that we weren't enough for you. No, no. You guys were the reason to stay. I left because of me. I hope I can make it up to you, Daniel. Someday. I can start by getting his ass out of that church. Cult. Whatever. Sector. <laughs> Whatever. You sound so... careless. It's like you can't even realize how much pain you've caused. I do care. That's why I'm here. To help you and your brother. If I didn't step up to help him now, I couldn't live with myself. Hey, um, mind if I bum a smoke? Sure. Still got a few left. Was denn kein Spruch? Du solltest nicht rauchen, mein lieber Junge. Ein paar hat sie übrig. Sie hat gerade eine frische Packung aufgemacht. Eigentlich wollte ich ihn wow. ja nicht rauchen lassen, aber. I haven't seen that lighter in ages. Your dad loved that thing. I know. Only thing I have left of his. No oh, man, Esteban hated when I smoked. He didn't want me to die an early death. Fuck. Life can be so cynical sometimes. I remember he would smoke sometimes. Long ago. We didn't fight much. But when we did, I would go out on the porch and light up so I could calm down. Esteban would come over and ask for a drag. Now we just look up at the sky and watch the stars or the planes. I do miss that. I used to do the same with my best friend Lila. Sitting on the porch. Just letting time go. That's when you know someone is good to you. When you can just sit together, <laughs> shut the hell up, and watch the universe do its own thing. Naja, mein Plan ist zumindest aufgegangen. Mein Plan war ja eigentlich, dass die beiden miteinander rauchen und dann noch ein bisschen miteinander quatschen und sich vielleicht näher kommen. Ich wollte ihn zwar nicht rauchen lassen, aber ähm, ich denke, das hat doch ganz gut jetzt hingehauen. We should go back inside. I gotta change this dressing. Okay. Let's go. Sean. 
Sean, I know I can't change the past. Or what I did. But this is about helping your brother. You gotta trust me this one time. I know. It's still hard. But yes. We have to be a team to rescue Daniel. We can do it. Okay. How? We need to get in touch with this Jacob. He obviously knows a lot more than us about the church. Well... I called him when you were out. We can meet with him tomorrow. Okay, good. I also got these. Just in case. Das schade. Ich dachte, sie kommt jetzt mit der Pistole an. Okay. Better take care of the eye. So, do you need any help with that? Yes. Thanks. So, you feel like telling me the story here? Lass mich entscheiden. Lass mich entscheiden. When we have time. Gotcha. Mist. Das ist seine Mutter, sie muss davon erfahren. Ich wollte niemandem was sagen, aber ich habe meine Meinung geändert. Die Mutter muss davon erfahren. Ich meine, die Oma wäre durchgedreht, aber ich denke mal, die Mutter, die kann das ab. Ich würde jetzt wirklich interessieren, ob das Auge kaputt ist oder ob er jetzt gar kein Auge mehr hat. Ich will es nicht sehen, aber mich würde es mal interessieren, weil der eine Typ hier von Glasaugen gesprochen hat. Und sie auch so bedrüppelt guckt irgendwie. Hier, try this on. Okay, er hat kein Auge mehr. Ich habe doch gesagt, ich wollte es nicht sehen. Ich wusste, er kriegt eine Piratenklappe. Great. Thank you, Karen. Big day tomorrow. So we should get some rest. Aber ist es yeah. nicht besser, wenn er den Verband dran lässt? I'm ready to get Daniel. 